Praise be Jesus and Mary. St. Dominic was a contemporary of St. Francis of Assisi, and because of the great friendship that they shared, the Franciscans commemorate St. Dominic with a liturgical feast. And the great gift that St. Dominic left for the church was a gift that he himself had received. And it is the Holy Rosary. It's a gift that he was inspired by Our Lady to give to the church and to propagate in the church. A powerful gift, a gift of a powerful prayer, powerful for for those who, who actually pray it. A powerful prayer for those who actually make use of it. And sometimes, In prayer, we have uh, an erroneous vision, an erroneous view of God, let's say. We see God as someone who changes his mind and whose mind we have to change when we pray, and prayer as the means of changing God's mind. It's a very erroneous way of thinking, even though it's very common. We see God as someone whom we have to convince of something, God who's undecided, maybe doesn't know what to do, and by prayer we convince him to do one thing or another. Or God who's got his main mind made up to not give us something, and by prayer we convince him to give it to us. Or God has got his mind made up to do something, and we want to convince him not to do it, and we have to pray hard to make God change his mind. And that's, that's erroneous. God doesn't change his mind. And in fact, prayer does not aim at convincing God of anything, but rather, Prayer is meant at changing something in us because God from all eternity has amazing things to give us. From all eternity, he has decided and decreed to bestow amazing graces upon us, especially through our Blessed Mother. In prayer, we simply have to make ourselves ready and available to receive them. And that's why we need to pray, and that's why we need to pray perseveringly and repetitively. In this, in this light, the words of Pius XII make sense, who commented on the rosary as being a powerful prayer. Why? Because of its repetition, precise of its repetition, it does what? It instills confidence in those who pray by the repetition of those Hail Marys, those Our Fathers, by the repetitious contemplation of the mysteries of the life of Christ, of the life of Mary. It inspires in us the faith and the confidence and all the dispositions necessary to receive what God wants to give us and gives us an appreciation for the graces that are in store for us and gives us a desire, a sufficient desire, and for some graces we need a burning desire in order to receive those graces. The rosary is a powerful weapon precisely because it instills in us those those burning desires, that profound faith that is necessary to receive the greatest graces that God has in store for us, which he gives only to those who believe and who believe wholeheartedly and who appreciate them, who desire them. The rosary, precisely because of its repetition, is a powerful prayer. It instills confidence in us, and Pius XII says it also has a gentle compulsion on the heart of Jesus and Mary. It compels them, so to speak, not to change their minds, but rather to give what we so ardently desire, to grant what we so ardently correspond, or rather to grant that which they so ardently want to give us and we show ourselves in a certain way worthy of. So let us make sure to pray this prayer. Why? Because it's powerful for those who pray it and for those who pray it often and for those who pray it perseveringly, and for those who pray pray it repetitively, and for those who pray it constantly. It's the great gift of St. Dominic to the church and to each and every one of us in the church. Praise be Jesus and Mary.